Hey everybody, it's Lon Zybin and we are back with my monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month we're taking another look at Plex Amp. This is a great music app that was officially released by Plex around the springtime of this year. And we covered it in detail. I really like how it works because it's a very mobile centric audio player that connects up with your Plex library natively. I'm using it because I am building up a big lossless audio library on my Plex server and it's nice to be able to listen to pristine audio at home and then be able to take that audio with me on the road. It's got all sorts of great little innovations built into it that we covered in the original video. And the reason why we're taking another look at it today is because they've added support now for your car. And if you have a car that supports Apple CarPlay or a car that supports Android Auto, Plex Amp will now work through your car's dashboard. And my wife's van upstairs has CarPlay built in, so we're gonna plug my iPhone into it and have a look at the Plex Amp car interface now. Uh, you should note it's kind of early days here, but it's definitely usable, and I was excited to see CarPlay now work to some degree with something from Plex, and it's great that it works with the Plex audio player, which is probably what you'd wanna use in your car. So we're gonna run upstairs to the minivan here in just a second, but I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure, that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it gets uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get to it now and see what this looks like on our Toyota Sienna in the garage. All right, so we're in CarPlay now in the minivan, and if we scroll over here, you can see that we have Plex Amp available to us. So I'm going to tap on that right now, and we can get into the app. Now, one of the cool things about Plex Amp is that it will do your recent playbacks based on where you executed that play from. So for example, if I was in the Dave Matthews Band playlist, it will show up as a single item on my recent plays. It's not going to give me every single track that was recently played. So you can very quickly kind of go through and see what you last did by intention. So for example, we were playing the Dave Matthews Band playlist before, that was my recent play here, and then I can drill into it and get the rest of the playlist. Uh, likewise, I played this album the other night, and I can then drill into the album itself to see what songs are in there. Uh, I also played a song directly off of one of my old Warrant albums, and I could just tap on that to get the song directly. And again, this is a log, basically, of all of the things that I did to initiate playback in the past. Uh, we also have the recently added here, which is all the things that we've added to the library recently. Uh, you also, of course, have access to your playlists. I have to build those out a little bit more. And then if you go to library here, you can scroll through all of your different artists that you have stored uh, alphabetically. Uh, just know, though, that when you're driving, CarPlay might limit the length of this list to keep your eyes on the road. So if you see a little less while the car's in motion, that's probably why you're not seeing it. Uh, so my suggestion would be to create a playlist and uh, maybe play it or do something to get it into this uh, recent plays list towards the top before you head out. Unfortunately, at the moment, Siri commands do not work. So that's something that uh, they'll have to add in the future. But it's nice to just have the basics here. Uh, if you do play back a song, you don't get any of the fancy visualizations, but you can, of course, listen to the song and get the album art here as well. So it's a nice starting point, I think. And it's, again, really nice to just get something working in CarPlay now, which wasn't working with Plex at all in the past. Uh, let's head back into the studio now and have a look at what this appears like on an Android phone. All right, we're back down in the studio now. That car doesn't support Android Auto, so we booted it up on the Pixel 4a that Google sent to us free of charge to review recently. A nice little phone. It's pretty much the same thing. The interface is slightly different, but all of the components are here. So you've got your uh, recent playbacks that we saw earlier, access to your playlists as well. You can get at your full library here if you want. Uh, the charts feature is available on both as well, which generates these smart playlists based on what you're playing back uh, on your library, and this will follow you around. So if you were playing a lot of songs at home, your top artists here will be updated with uh, the top songs that you listen to across all of your different Plex devices. Uh, you also can, of course, view the current playing audio if you want, nice big controls here, and you get your album art in the background. You will notice the microphone icon here, but it doesn't really support any voice commands at the moment. That's the only thing kind of lacking from uh, Plex Amp on both platforms, but I think it's off to a good start here. You can uh, get stuff going inside of your car dashboard and get access to your music library 
uh, right through your car, which I think is a nice addition to this great little app that they have put together here. So if you haven't tried Plex Amp yet and you have a Plex Pass account, definitely give it a shot. All the work that you did to organize your music library on the Plex app or on the Plex web interface will carry right over. Just a really nice way to get at your music and it will present it to you in different ways as well. Just a very efficient interface and it's nice to see it getting integrated into the dashboard too. And I think the response from the community has been really good, so I'm sure they're going to continue working on it and improving it. And just a really solid app, so definitely give it a shot. And I gotta say too, on an unrelated note, that minivan is awesome. We bought it about a year and a half ago. It's a Toyota Sienna. It's got all wheel drive, which is great for the winters here in Connecticut. It kind of handles like a car. I'm very pleased with the overall handling of it. It's got plenty of room. We've got two kids with a bunch of stuff and uh, even those car seats take up a lot of room. And when you're in that van, even in the third row, it feels good. It's pretty comfortable, lots of leg room. Uh, the sunroof is great on it. It's got a killer entertainment system. It's got this widescreen that can play two things at the same time and each kid gets their own pair of headphones. It has a Blu-ray player and you can load up movies onto an SD card and play them off of that as well. And we've done that with some of the movies we have for them on the Plex server. I just copied them off the NAS to the card and they can watch the same stuff in the car because at the moment at least, Plex Amp doesn't play videos, but maybe one day it will. Uh, but all in, we are very, very pleased with that van and I'm also pleased with Plex Amp. That's gonna do it for now. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. And I wanna thank Plex for their longstanding support of the channel. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Tom Albrecht, Chris Allegretta, David Hockman, Brian Parker, Mike Patterson, and Bill Pomerantz. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.